Are you ready to build professional applications that combine the Angular 2 framework with a Rails 5 backend? If so, then this is a course for you. My name is Jordan Hudgens, and in addition to being the CTO and lead instructor for DevCamp, I've also been a developer for well over a decade working for companies such as Eventbrite and Quip. After you've completed this course, you're going to be able to build modern Angular 2 and Ruby on Rails 5 applications. In fact, in this course, we're actually going to build three applications with Angular functioning as the front end of the app, and then we're going to create two Rails 5 API based apps. This type of architecture is powerful because it's going to give you the ability to create very fast, dynamic Angular applications that take advantage of features such as real-time updates, along with the power and the flexibility that's provided from the Rails framework. We'll start the course off by walking through the application architecture. This is going to teach you the concepts that you're going to need to understand in order to see how microservices can be designed from a best practice and a software engineering perspective. From there, we're going to start building the Angular 2 front-end application. This is going to include even integrating the new version of Bootstrap, Bootstrap 4, to add some great and professional styles to our app. After the front-end component is complete, we're going to create two Rails 5 API-based applications that are going to store and manage data for the entire system. Throughout the course material, you're going to learn concepts such as how to configure your system to run Angular applications, how to generate an Angular 2 application completely from scratch, what it takes to build Angular components, how to work with advanced tools such as Angular Observables to automatically update page elements without even needing to refresh the page, along with how to communicate with APIs and parse the data that they return and everything that you need to know in order to build real-world Angular 2 applications with Rails backends. Now on to the prerequisites. This is not an entry-level course. In order to take this course, you should have at least a basic understanding of how to build Rails applications. Additionally, I'd also recommend that you're familiar with the TypeScript programming language since the entire Angular 2 framework was built on TypeScript. However, with that being said, even if you're not familiar with TypeScript, you can still go through this course. As far as your environment goes, because we're going to be running Rails applications in this course, it's highly recommended that you have either a Mac or a Linux-based operating system. If you don't, that's perfectly fine. You can always run the Angular portion on your local machine and then use an online IDE such as C9 if you want to run Rails on those online systems. Additionally, each lesson of the course is paired with the source code that I went through in the lesson so you can check your work. And since the application we're going to be building is a real world app, I constantly will be adding to the course material with new features just as I do on my other courses. And finally, please feel free to review the course curriculum and I look forward to going through the material with you on your development journey.